Put on your goggles. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, here to extract more technical insight from a member of the Oracle community. Making his first solo appearance in a two-minute tech tip is Oracle ace Arturo Viveros, principal architect with Cisco. Arturo is going to attempt to provision a WebLogic 12C domain with automated scripts in under two minutes. What'd you say? And the clock starts now. Okay, so let's go. And as you can see, my scripts are already running with the input of only one command, which was vagrant provision. And while it runs in the background, I'm going to use these two minutes to walk you through the way I accomplished this uh, provisioning process. So in your screens, you can see an image describing my, my setup, which uses Vagrant as a virtualization manager, uh, Puppet as the provisioner of choice, and VirtualBox, a local VirtualBox to host uh, an empty virtual machine, which will be provisioned. Now you can see that my base box is named uh, WLS, and it was created using Packer. This is a box that runs uh, CentOS 6.6 as an operating system. And all of the, that is pretty straightforward, and, but now comes the interesting part. This is my Vagrant file, where I can uh, describe the way in which I want my box to be created. And I don't need to have advanced knowledge of stuff like networking, storage, operating system, because Vagrant will provide an abstraction layer for me. Now, I will show you my Puppet manifest, which is like the Puppet master file, where I can orchestrate and decide uh, which activities I want to perform, in which order, you can see the highlighted ones, domain creation, node manager creation, admin server startup. And this is my Hiera file, which is kind of like a properties file, very powerful because I can define everything here, the name of my domain, environment variables, ports, IP addresses, uh, data sources, JCA adapters, uh, clustering, and many more things. But let's go back to the script because it's just about to finish. It's and um, yeah, it's done. So let's go to uh, an internet browser and see if it's already up and running. And there it is. The console is just being deployed and let's just wait for it. Voila. Did that tip work for you? Yes, of course. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.